Who are you with? Uh, my name is Scott Peranto, and this is a walking pod, which will soon be called a dead spider in the future. And uh, this is kind of a creation I came up with uh, when I was planning to go to Burning Man for my first time, so I wanted to have something really cool. And I, I like domes a lot, so um, I started out making the metal domes and wanted to have a vehicle that would work on the desert, so I came up with the legs. Well, I, the legs are actually Taylor Jensen's design. Um, I was looking for a concept that would make the domes move really cool, and so I, I searched online and found uh, Taylor Jensen's uh, strand beast fell in love with it. It just seemed like the perfect, graceful leg system for this thing. So uh, it took me about a month and a half to figure out how to make the geometry for that work with the metal and then, uh, and then how to power it. And then uh, I had the help from Steve Hawthorne, who's just an excellent stainless steel sheet metal guy. He did a lot of the, uh, the fine tuning on it to help me get this thing built. And, uh, Together we put this together in about two and a half months. It started out at 0.2 miles an hour, but we've upgraded it, so it's probably uh, about maybe two miles an hour. It's about walking pace. Well, this it was the start of my micro home plans. I, I made the metal domes, and I wanted to try to make one as absolutely small as I possibly could. So I took the same geometry as this pod and stretched it out and shrunk it, and came up with uh, what I'm calling the world's smallest house because you can fit two people in it but the square footage of it for the floor space is actually 20 inches by 20 inches so it's, it's really tiny. During the daytime it's upright and so when you're standing on it um, you have a place to sit down and you can use a kitchenette and then under the floorboard there's a little shower pan so you pull a plastic skirt over you and take a shower and then at night you would hit a switch and it would turn 90 degrees and the wall becomes a bed. Works out great, and I put it all on um, gimbals so that the gimbal will help adjust it so that it's 90 degrees. And then there's another uh, rotate rotation system that'll level it out. So if you're if the ground you're leveled, if you're on is not even, it'll level the pod out to this.